your boy boss and welcome back to the channel as always i appreciate you guys coming back and checking out my videos man so today uh what we got going on is another day in the fish room you already know the grind don't stop gotta keep grinding but i had some extra um filters laying around these little emperors and i went ahead and said "Ooh, we're gonna just add these to the pond today so we're gonna be adding a couple of these emperors uh to the pond just to add a lot more filtration so i got two of these i think these are like the emperor 280s i believe yeah so we're gonna be adding some emperors to that pond uh, we also picked up um, some new fish and they are kind of already uh acclimating right now uh, we're gonna be adding some new fish to this uh, african cichlid tank now uh, so we picked up some tiger barbs so i've been talking about a lot that i want to add some dither fish to uh, my african cichlid tanks and i'm positive that these fish are going to work well, we finna find out, right? So we're gonna be adding these guys to one of my African cichlid tanks and pretty much um, seeing how they work and see if they can get the African cichlids to come out more and these guys can all close this together. Uh, tiger barbs are very um, hardy, uh, feisty little fish, so they should actually hold their own. Um, so we got 12 of those today. And we also picked up, um, shout out to Aquascape, you know what I'm saying? We picked up a pond net so i know a lot of people been coming like you need to get a net for the pond so we definitely got one of those today um so that way we can make sure i can sleep good at night knowing that my red tail just none of my fish is on the floor and it gives us an opportunity to get some more fish because you know i got something else coming for y'all so you know we got that so pretty much that's what today's view is gonna be about so i'm gonna set it up so sit back relax and let's get it cracking all right guys welcome back so the first thing we're gonna work on is uh getting these tiger barbs into the tank because i've been having them activated for a while before i started filming um so we're gonna go ahead and get these guys situated now i went ahead and picked up what we got 12 of these guys so the thing about tiger bars is you want to make sure tiger bars are in a good school a big school so I got about 12 and 12 to 15 is a good number of a tiger barbs you want to have um that way they don't pick off each other or you know they'll do good in the look how beautiful these fish is looking right now though sorry i stopped talking because i never get to see these fish like that nor do i never film this early in the afternoon so this is probably their active time but um yeah so we got 12 of these guys so pretty much they've been acclimated for a while so i'm gonna come get my net Ooh. Let y'all see all the monsters. You know, we'll talk about that here soon. And we're gonna go ahead and plop and drop these guys. Um, as far as quarantining my fish, um, the places I buy my fish from, they quarantine their fish before um, they even put them out. So uh, very reputable. So I wouldn't even do that if I had any thoughts that my fish could be sick or anything like that. So for the people who are wondering why I don't quarantine, now, if I was to get a fish from somewhere that I don't trust or online or something like that, definitely get in quarantine. So pretty much with these guys, what I'm gonna do is, let me zoom out. I'm just gonna do a little plop and drop. Uh, this is the best way to get your fish into your aquarium without putting the tank water, their tank water into your aquarium, so. Make sure we got all them jokers out of there. Looking like such. All right, let me move this light. This all the back out the way. All right. Let's get these guys in here. Y'all want to see me? Y'all want to see the fish? so yep got these guys in there and it's gonna take them a little while to get adjusted you know probably be a few hours i'm sure by the end of this video they be swimming around doing good but my main thing is just seeing how the tiger barbs and these african cichlids uh coexist with each other so we're gonna monitor that watch it watch the behaviors and uh honestly i believe it's going to put this bright light on so you guys get a little better look 
honestly I think it's gonna work uh, because I know the temperament of these fish and these rusties uh, it's this particular species of African cichlid that I got it's pretty chill you know and they're kind of skittish so I think they're both gonna work well together so I think that's gonna be all right so I'm gonna let them chill get adjusted put the little dimmer light back on and like I said by the end of this video I'm sure they're gonna be in it to win it all right so got my son behind the camera right now I told him if I uh if he start doing good if he record me good I might pay him you know put him on payroll pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these uh emperors and we're gonna be adding these to the pond uh, because I just want to add a little bit more filtration on there because what we're gonna be getting else for the pond gonna need it so this is my thought process right I'm gonna be using uh, two of these emperors on here now I could build a another type of DIY type but I had this laying around so I might as well just use it so I'm gonna just put one like right here I just need to adjust behind there so it can sit down and then we're gonna put one right there where the other one was at so we're gonna have two emperors right here and we got two wave makers that's gonna be pushing water circulating water plus there's uh, three sponge filters back there so we should have ultimate filtration on this pond and I think it's gonna go well I just need to adjust some things so pretty much what I'm gonna do is this my filtration the type of floss I'm gonna use I'm gonna use some of my uh, filter floss show my sweaty face <laughs> so I just take floss out of these uh, old pillow the stuff that I use and um, I'm just gonna put this inside here with some carbon and that is going to be the media that we're gonna be pretty much using uh, to filter this and it's gonna pretty much uh, be our biological and mechanical filtration all right so right now I'm adding another heater on here and we're gonna get these uh, filters hooked up. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, fill them up with some water. So when we turn them on, they ain't got that annoying sound. That one's running. This one, act like it don't wanna get cracking. nice so we back and uh i've been chilling for a while because it was so hot down here in the fish room earlier i had to take a break bro i was down here sweating bullets but give you a little update on the pond and the new filters uh, everything is looking real good man i really i like how it looks it's real clean looking um it don't look too out of place i can still add like some once these uh house plants grow in it's could like should just drape over everything and look real good and I can always go pick up some more. I still got these beach areas too that like I can put like some potted um, plants in here. So maybe you guys can give me some uh, suggestions of what maybe I can put in some uh, pots or something and plant over in these little beach areas. Cause that's where like the convicts, there's tons of convict babies that are living over here in these areas. So that's pretty good. Let me know in the comment section. But we got the extra um, heater hooked up, filters running. I mean, this should be the best water quality that it can be because um, it was already good water quality already crystal clear you know so it should be good water quality the catfish just been chilling really I haven't seen too much activity out of them um, but you know that's kind of what big fish do they be chilling when they uh, got room but I'm sure he'll probably be more active at night um, I haven't seen them do much feeding I haven't really tried to feed him too much yet, um, but I'm sure tonight I'm gonna try to do a little bit tonight and see if he'll take something. Let's see if he'll feed, but he's doing really good though. 
everybody in here is doing good. No filters is pumping. I'm talking about you see all that flow? It's my pumping water, so I don't know how many how much these uh emperors are rated at, but emperors are like the best filters that you can get, man. Super good filters. But let's go over here and give you guys a little update on the get my little stool here, man. Yeah. And shout out to these little stools. If you guys want to pick these little stools, you can get these on Amazon. They're like little um mechanic little workbenches. And these things work really good. I can slide all, all around the fish room. But let me see, turn off this light right here. And then we're gonna turn off this light right here. All right, so now you can see how my plan has worked. Now you can see since I put these tiger barbs in here, uh, my African cichlids have come on my rusties. They are way more active than they've ever been since I put them in this aquarium. So um, success, that's a success. And uh, you can see everybody's coexisting each other. You don't see them chasing the barbs around. You don't see the uh, tiger barbs chasing them around. So I think it's gonna work out just fine. And uh, add another element to this aquarium. And you guys can try this too. You know, most people would tell you not to do this, but you know, I like to try things and see how it works. And I knew this combination will work um, because these are like a real peaceful, docile, cichlid, tiger bar. They can be scary too. You see how they're moving together. And anytime I move my hand, they get frightened. So. You know, these tiger bars will put on some size. These African cichlids gonna put on some more size. And now I can really get these guys out of here and film them, you know? Before I couldn't even film these uh these fish because they just wouldn't come out. So, beautiful rusties. And uh, can't wait to breed more of them because uh, this comes from a really good line. Really good breeder here in my area. It's hard to find this fish. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what other fish you think would go good with these uh, other African cichlids I got. And uh, we'll definitely go pick them up. I got some, I was thinking maybe like some Congo Tetras. They bigger, they get bigger. I'll get like some Congo Tetras or I don't know. I'm going to find some more, some maybe some Brunus Aris Tetras. Some, uh, I don't know, I got a couple ideas. But you know, you guys can let me know in the comment section what you think. But the next thing we're going to do is hook up this little net man so we picked up this net today and uh we're gonna try to get that on the pond I'm, I'm i hate that it's gonna we gotta put this on here for the simple fact it's gonna look ugly and it's gonna take away from the look but it's important that we do this because if we don't we run the lines of ending up with fish on the ground especially the fish that i'm gonna be picking up next that's gonna be going in this pond it's mandatory that I have this net on there. So, all right, we got to unravel. I'm going to go ahead and add it to. Let's do that right now. So, boom, we didn't added the net. And honestly, I got mixed feelings about it. I mean, it doesn't look bad. You know, I've seen worse things in my life. But it does take a little bit away from the look. You can still see the clown knife. You can still see the pleco. Um... Uh, I don't see the red tail right now. Oh, yeah, he's down right there. I mean, so you can still see the fish. But so what I'll do, I'm going to leave it like this, especially like at night. It's going to give me a peace of mind. I'll just probably put like a rock here and then pull this side down and put a rock there because I got it tucked behind the filters back there. And then I got it clipped back there, like where that light at is clipped to one side. So that's not coming up. This side not coming up. And then I can always just move the front, feed, do what I got to do. And then, like I say, if I want to film it and do so, I can just pull the net off, film, do what I got to do, and put the net back on at night. But, uh, I mean, it looked good. It's not terrible. It's going to give me that peace of mind. I'm sure it's going to give you all that peace of mind, too. So, you really can't even tell. I just like things so, like, a certain way. So, I just got to get used to it. But it's not bad at all, actually. It's really not bad at all. So, I think that's a W. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a W for today. We winning. I don't think I'm kind of thinking about like how my plants and stuff, like how that's gonna grow, you know. Uh, but we'll see. We'll as things progress, I could like tuck it up under the filter, maybe, 
and then wrap it around them sides so that way the filters top part is still out but it's like tucked up under and then the tucked up under there that makes sense and then the filter is kind of like sitting on it clamping it in on that side and then i can always just flip it back roll it back and sit over there to film do what i gotta do feed whatever you know but this is gonna be a, give me a peace of mind especially when we get our next uh I, I want to say it so bad, but you just you just gotta wait. But Leah, let me know. Did we take a W on this? I think we took a W on this today too. We just taking Ws, man. We've been taking good Ws out here. I think we took a W today on these Tiger Bar pickup, and uh, super excited about that. And I will keep giving you guys updates on how they do in the near future. And uh, yeah, I like this. My cyclists are so active. I haven't seen them this active in months, but they always buy themselves and stuff. So, great dither fish. If you got some cichlids, you want to see them be more active. Hopefully, this will entice more breeding, which will make them want to be a little bit more. You can already see some territorial activities going on that I haven't seen out of them in a while. So, that's always a good thing. So, hopefully, I want I'm gonna really breed this uh, line out because it's a really true strong line. So. Hoping to breed that line out more. That's a little update on all the other fish that's in the fish room. Because I know we always get new people every day. These fish nice and fat because I just fed them. They about ready for bed. But we we'll give you guys a little update on, you know, the tanks in the fish room. I'm going to be doing like a full tour video soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. That's why I kind of like just skim through the tanks a little bit. I'm gonna do another tour video soon because I haven't done one in about a month or so. So, give you guys a little update on everything that's going on down here. But we gotta have a new fish coming for this tank um, in the next vlog. So, stay tuned. I think you guys are gonna like what I'm getting. But keep supporting the channel. Look at all these guppies in here. Keep supporting the channel subscribing, showing the love, sharing these videos. I see all the comments. And I try to comment back to every last one of you guys. And I appreciate all the support, man. Y'all really don't understand how much I appreciate the support. I'm literally just sharing my passion with y'all. But I'm going to keep dropping these bangers. You already know. Keep sharing my experience. Keep bringing y'all this content. So that we can learn and grow together. You know, yeah. So I'll probably go ahead and end the video right here. A little shorter video than normal. I'll be trying to make like my videos at least 25 to 30 minutes long. So this might be a little shorter video, but you already know I'm gonna keep bringing that content for y'all. Look at these beautiful Oscars, though. Finally getting these guys to eat like I want. I've had them for about a month now, so they finally starting to eat, especially this uh, albino one. So hopefully I can start getting them to do some cool feedings soon. Once they get used to they they coming up to they're starting to come up to the top now when I come to the uh tank. So that's that's a good sign. At first they just wasn't eating at all, so you know, it's always a plus. But as far as this hunting gallon, we're gonna try to get this going. Uh this weekend maybe. If not, it'll be sometime soon. Like I said, I want to do it the right way. I've been thinking about, um, that's why I'm glad I didn't rush into it and getting it set up because I would have threw all my big fish in here and it'd have been crammed in this little box. Now I just get an opportunity to do this tank the way I truly want to do it and have out and have it look the way I truly want it to look. Um, just been, just stay tuned for that. I got some ideas and I want to do it the right way. That's why I have been, uh, rushing to get it done because I want it to be done the right way. But I'm glad we didn't rush into that because now we got this going the right way. We got these fish in here. We're going to be getting something super cool for that. So, you know, everything works out for a reason. But that's pretty much it, man. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more content because uh, you already know the grind don't stop. But I'm out of here, man.